This is um, the movie for Chapter 8, The Training Assignment, and we're working on Step 5. And in this step, we're going to use the action query that's an append query. So the scenario here would be that you have data that exists somewhere, whether it's um, within the same database, but most oftentimes it's in another database that you want to um, grab and put into an existing table. So the difference between the make table and the append is that in the append, the table already exists. You don't need to bring the structure over. You just need to bring the, the data, the records. And so the scenario that we're going to work on is that in our marketing to database, we have some um, customer information for a campaign that we want to put into the SPA 2 campaign. So we want to kind of uh, uh, reuse those, those clients, if you will, from the marketing to and put them into this SPA 2 campaign um, database. So the last uh, step three and four, you were in SPA. So you'll need to close that database and open up the marketing to database. So wherever you downloaded all of the um, files from the start files, you want to find the one that ends with marketing to and open that database because this is where the data resides currently and we're going to take it out of this database and append it to an existing table in our SPA. Okay, so if we read our instructions on step five, it says create an append query that appends data from the marketing department spring promotions for Turquoise Oasis SPA. The data is stored in the Marketing 2 database, that's why we bring that one open, and needs to be appended to the campaign table in the SPA 2 database. So let's go ahead and, so that's the scenario. So then let's look at this bullet point here. It says the append query should include mailing customer and redeemed from the mailing table. So we're going to pull these. Um, fields from table mailing and then campaign type da, 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 from table campaign. So the two tables that we need are mailing and campaign and then let's look at the fields here. All of these fields which makes sense because this is what we use. These are the same fields we used for um, the make table. So let's go ahead and start with what we know, and that is creating our select query. So we're going to create a query design. We're going to use mailing and campaign. that's the order they appear. I'm going to stretch my table out and bring my grid up. All right, so now we're going to just start putting down our fields that we know we're going to use. So mailing ID, customer ID, and redeemed. Then campaign name, type, start date, end date, discount code, department, and details. And, and Right, those are all the fields we just fixed in the last couple steps, right? So the criteria, so we have all of the information. If I run it, you know, I'm going to get whatever, quite a bit of records, right? But we're dealing only with the Turquoise Oasis Spa. So we're going to have to limit that department in some way. So we have 73 records now, and we know we don't want all those. So the criteria for department should be Turquoise Oasis Spa. So we're going to put Turquoise, if I know how to spell it, which is 
zoom in, make sure I get that okay. I do. Turquoise, always the spa, okay. And then clear the um, the show checkbox, but I always like to leave it until we're sure we got the right data and then come back and take it off. Okay, so we have we have this one done. Well, that part done. Criteria for the start date. So we only want the campaign that starts on 4-1-2018. That's from the Turquoise Spa. So now I can run this and so we verified that we have only the date we need and the department. So now I can go back to my grid, take this off because we don't actually want it, run it again, not run it, sorry, change to um, data sheet. And, and um, we're good. So let's go ahead in design view then. We need to change it to an append. So up here in the query type, we're going to pick append. We're going to append it to um, another database. Let's run it. I'm sorry, browse. And I'm going to find my file. So we're going to append it to the marketing. No, we're going to append it to spa to. And then we're going to pick campaign. So one of the things that I like to do is when it's going to another database, I like to pick the database first and then come back up and pick camp the table. We're going to go ahead and do OK. So we're going to run it. So this is the point where it matters whether you run or show, right? Just changing the data sheet view will keep it OK. Running it will actually run it. So let's run it. I'm going to append nine rows. Yes, that's cool. I'm done. So I'm going to save this as QRY append data. I'm going to close the query and I'm going to uh, cl um, close the marketing too. So let's just bring up our spa. Our spa too. And let's see in our campaign, did it work? Look, right there. All those that are 4-1 have now been um, appended, right? So we didn't have to key all those in. They were there. We just used it. All right, next movie. Um, so we're done with this. Next movie will be the update query. Thank you.